Welcome to another important video. In this video, I will show you how we can remove plagiarism from our research article before its submission. But before I go into details of this topic, let me answer few important questions which are relevant to this topic. So on my list, the first question, what is plagiarism? The practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as your own idea is called plagiarism. So in simple words, we can say you have just copied one line from any article and you have just pasted that line into your own article without any change. So this act would be called as plagiarism. Is there any alternate for name for plagiarism? Yes, uh, we can also uh, say the plagiarism as similarity index. On my list, the next question, how we can check plagiarism? There are usually two softwares which are normally used by researchers. So one of them is Turnitin and second is Authenticate. So usually both of these softwares are paid. You can get their subscriptions from different sources. What is the allowed limit of similarity index in international journal? So my answer would be 19, although it may varies from journal to journal, but usually it is 19% for all of international journals. So which parts are allowed to be plagiarized and which parts are not allowed to be plagiarized in a research article? So in my point of view, the references, author names, funding section, author contributions, acronym, gene names or full name of any abbreviations are allowed to be plagiarized. But if any other text is plagiarized, so it would not be allowed to be plagiarized. So uh, let me show you uh, one example for, from my research article. So here I show you this is the turn 18. I have submitted my own research article and you can see its uh, similarity index is 20%. I have submitted this one into turn 18. Uh, let me show you one of my recent research article and I will show you where are the similarity indexes can be found. So you can simply just click here and you can download this. Yeah, you can see it has started to download. You can simply just show in the folder and uh, you can simply double click. Here, here is one of my recent article. We can see its report. But uh, before seeing report, what we can see at the end that what is the total similarity index? You can see the total similarity index is 20%, which is almost allowed because as I have just told you earlier, that the total similarity index should be not more than 19%. So actually this is 1% higher than acceptable limit. So uh, let me show you uh, which part are allowed to be plagiarized and which parts are not allowed to be plagiarized. So here you can see this is the article title. These are the author names and here are the actually the author affiliations. You can see uh, they are also showing the plagiarism with my previous article publications. But here, here before I would recommend you that if you also going to be check the similarity index so it is better you can remove these so that your similarity index should not be due to this. So the next one you can see the abstract salicylic acid. You can see when there are three words which are consecutively placed and it is just matching with a, any other database so it will show you a uh, part of similarity index. So here you can see here are the three words. So it means if there are three consecutive words which are already published in any database, so it will show plagiarism. So uh, because these are exact acronyms are these exact, these are exact abbreviations, so we don't need to remove them. So uh, here you can see uh, the introduction. It is again just little parts, so we can ignore them even the percentage is higher. Here again, it is showing just uh, abbreviation, so we don't need to change them. These, here are also three to four words, so there are no problems. 
even sometime uh, you can see BHLH this is uh, actually the abbreviation of basic helix loop helix protein so we also don't need to change and uh, here are also some abbreviations we also don't need to change and uh, here are also some abbreviations we don't need to change but here when you come to line number 77 you can see this whole line actually the WOD for proteins are not thought to have any catalytic activity and uh, here are most of the parts are showing the plagiarism with uh, with the second number publication we can go and check that uh, this line is exactly published in which journal so we can go to number two actually this this is the number two we can see that there is one article which is published in the Oxford University Press from the internet source it is showing the similarity with them so we must have to rephrase these lines which are given in the line number 77 but before that let me show you other thing which also don't need to be don't need to be rephrased like these are the just small parts so we don't need to rephrase them and even sometime uh, this this data is also not needed to change because these are just figure legends and we cannot change like uh, because most of the articles show plant morphology of wild type so we can just sim similarly go and uh, check that whether there are some other parts which should be removed uh, like this this line if you want you want to change then you can change otherwise it is not needed uh, let me show you uh, some other line which should must be changed that that should be at least a complete line uh, let me go down yeah here you can see uh, the line number 354 to 357 uh, the one of the whole line is showing similarity index so we must need to rephrase them so i will show you one example uh, that how we can change these lines uh, like this we you can see the here are the author contributions funding sections and the references even these lines are showing plagiarism you don't need to change these because this this is not part of the real manuscript so you can uh, have copy and paste them as such if you need so uh, let me now uh, take you to the one example of these lines that how we can rephrase them and remove their plagiarism so let me copy this line and take you to take you back to the screen so that we can remove its plagiarism and rephrase them so that there should be no similarity index so you can see here i have just copy and pasted those those lines here the w t40 proteins are not thought to have any catalytic activity so how we can remove the plagiarism from this line first we should try to understand this sentence okay if you do not understand this sentence so you cannot remove the plagiarism so it is important to understand that sentence first uh, before you remove plagiarism in that sentence so if you are not native speaker so then process its meaning into your own language like if you are urdu or hindi speaker you can process this line meanings into your own words or your own language then you can translate back into the english and because you can see this line is so short there is no back and forth ideas of this sentence so we should have a complete line so let me go back and take that whole line so actually i have just copy pasted that whole line here so now we try to understand this line the wd40 proteins are not thought to have any catalytic activity dna binding are regulating the expression of target genes and appear to be docking platform because they can interact with several proteins simultaneously did you understand the meaning at least i did not so let me do it easy for you it is not necessary to keep all the words of sentence so first we can remove the lines which are inside of the brackets so i have just uh, removed these brackets now the line is wd40 proteins are th not thought to have any catalytic activity and appear to be docking platform because they can interact with several proteins simultaneously yeah the first part is making sense the wd40 proteins 
don't have any catalytic activity which i am understanding and appear to be a docking platform but i don't know what is docking platform so what we should do we we have to search the meaning of difficult words in the google so you can simply just open the google and write uh, what is docking platform so you can and uh, we can write here what is the meaning of docking platform you can see the first definition is a stand or a converter into which a laptop tablet handheld game console smartphone or other mobile device is inserted to charge a battery so now we know its real meaning so we can go back and try to continue our meaning when you will search what is docking platform so they will give you different pictures and different meanings of docking platform so when i search so you can see now we can understand what is docking platform actually the docking platform here this is a docking platform like this is a charger uh, which is used to charge any mobile or any laptop so this platform which is used to get fit inside this platform is called the docking platform so uh, let me show you it's another it's another figure yeah here you can see this is actually the docking platform so it mean we can see this uh, docking platform is actually fit inside in the holes which is used to charge and uh, which is used to connect the charging of laptop so now we can go back and so uh, because now we know the meaning of docking platform so now uh, that sentence is would be more meaningful uh, we can try to understand more the wd40 proteins are not thought to have any catalytic activity so it means there is a specific type of protein which don't have any catalytic activity and appear to be a docking platform appear to be docking platform it means it, this protein is maybe just fitted in inside of another protein because they can interact with several proteins simultaneously but it has ability to interact with several proteins but it usually do not show any catalytic activity we can just now uh, change the idea of what we understood by combining all the ideas which we have from where we get all the ideas the first idea we get from the google that what is the meaning of docking platform the second you can use your own perception and you can use your own knowledge and the third you can combine the meaning so far what we have understood from all the different meanings so uh, let me uh, rephrase this so we can say that that a previous study this is my own perception like a previous study reported that these words i have just uh, inserted by myself that wd proteins serve as a talking platform you can see i have just changed the whole scenario you can see i have uh, a previous study reported that wt 40 protein serve as docking platform and do not show any catalytic activity but can interact with several proteins simultaneously so now we, you can see now this line is now more easy and more more understandable so this is the real way by which you can remove the plagiarisms so at the last i will tell you here are few takeaways which we should consider while rephrasing or while removing similarity index so we can rephrase what we have un understood but not what we have read so sometimes uh, sometimes the sentence structure is so complex that uh, uh, it is hard to follow what is uh, what you are what is written there so it is recommended to write what you understand in your mind about that thing on the next you can use sometimes suitable synonym uh, to replace some words like you can uh, replace with show with display like this type of words you can uh, you can replace them and uh, do not use any shortcut ways or any other apps to remove the plagiarism i know there are several videos which and several researcher which claim that maybe if you, you want to remove the similarity index you can use grammarly or you can use quilt bold i never recommend to the student to use these apps because uh, lastly they would be dangerous uh, for students to learn new things and learn and use their own mind 
to get into the scientific writing so make sure everything takes time like if if you are planning that okay uh, your similarity index is up to 70 percent and you want to remove within one night perhaps that would not be possible because everything takes time so make sure you have enough time to read and understand all the those sentences which shows the similarity index and lastly there if there is no pain there is no gain so of course if you want to publish any SEI article of course you have to work hard and you have to understand each word and each sentence so that you can rephrase them according to this idea hope so you like this idea if you have any other question related to this please let me know in the comments thank you for watching bye bye